like that brand new blue Rapala right out of the box. And man, he's shaking. I like it. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, hold that. Because Wes moved my rod holder there. Damn kids. You know how it is. They got uh, Ron got here. Look at him. He's a handful. I know. Yeah. Can't take him anywhere. 25 feet deep. Oh, yeah. Come to daddy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turned right when you should have turned left. That's what, that's what happened. Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kel Kellogg and I want to talk about Rapalas and other stick baits. That was a pretty nice trout you saw us catching a Rapala in the beginning of this video. We caught that fish this morning here at Collins Lake. We've been doing a lot of power trolling. And we've been pulling a lot of Yozuris and Rapalas. And in fact, last week I did a video about how I rig up for Rapala or, you know, minnow bait trolling. And that generated a bunch of questions. Guys out there want to know what size Rapala should they be using? How fast should they be trolling them? What color should they be using? And I'm here to break it all down quickly and concisely for all you guys. And remember, this is just my opinion. I fish a lot, but your mileage may vary. So let's get started. I'm gonna check out the, the scene here. I am going up on the shore. I better make a correction and I'll be right back at you. Okay, Rapala's. First thing you need to know about Rapala's, in my opinion, is that it is a power trolling lure. That means for you to have the best success on these baits, you need to troll them quickly. And for me, that's anywhere from about 2.4 miles an hour all the way up to three and a half or four miles an hour. You really can't pull a Rapala too quickly, you know, within reasonable limits. So first and foremost, it's a power trolling lure. It's a lure that you want to troll quickly whenever you think there are aggressively feeding trout around. The fish have to be willing to chase for Rapalas to work. The second consideration with Rapalas is the size of the lure, okay? To some extent, the old term, you know, bigger the bait, bigger the fish, is very true with Rapalas. If you're at a lake that has eight or 10 pound trout, you can run a huge six inch long Rapala. You can run a, a number 18 Rapala. I don't even know how long that is, but it's a big old bait. Big trout, big Mackinac, big browns. They are very responsive to large Rapalas, but you've got to consider how big the trout are in the lake that you're fishing when you select the size of your lure. If you're fishing for planted trout, a good rule of thumb is using a Rapala that's about this size or smaller, something about the size of your pinky finger. Most of the fish here at Collins Lake, they're anywhere from two to three pounds, something like that. That's your average size fish. Certainly there's larger fish out here, but uh, that makes sense. That pretty much matches the size of the shad that the fish are used to feeding on in the lake. Match the hatch, catch the fish. I'll be right back. So summing up when it comes to size, bigger is better, but you don't want to run a bait that's gonna overpower the vast majority of the fish in the lake that you're, you know, you're fishing. So doing your homework is gonna pay off when it comes to selecting the correct size Rapala. Let's talk a little bit about color. Let me see where we're going here. Oh, we're going pretty good. Um, you know, I tend to favor bait fish imitations or up in the high Sierras, um, rainbow trout imitations just like that right there again I start off as a match the hatch kind of guy if I'm if I'm fishing a lake that has a lot of shad or a lot of pond smelt I'm going with that blue over silver black over silver color pattern when that fails I might break out some bright stuff like this orange and gold Rapala right here I used to be a guy that paid a lot of attention to water clarity when it came to choosing colors I'm really kind of after fishing up here at Collins Lake all winter and catching a lot of trout in muddy water I don't think that the color is as important as the flash and vibration put off by a lure So I would start off matching the hatch matching the color scheme of the forage in the lake that you're fishing Once I've played with that a little bit I might bust out some some bright stuff and play with colors a little bit, but uh, I'll tell you what that uh, Better turn here better make a quick turn I'm zigzagging all over the place um, I'll tell you what 
that black and silver Rapala right there, that is a winner at every lake I've ever fished. You just need to adjust the size of it to the size of the fish you're intending to catch, put it on the end of your line, bump up your speed, and get ready to yell fish on, because as we all know, the Rapala is a real fish killer. Anyway, I'm gonna jump for now. I hope that kind of clears up some of, some of the perceptions out there about minnow plugs, about Yozuri's, how you fish them, how you run them, how you select your sizes and colors. Those are my philosophies. Yours may vary, but uh, I'm hopeful that that helps some of the guys out there in YouTube land out when it comes to power trolling with Rapalas and other minnow plugs. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. I gotta make a quick turn here. It's getting pretty narrow. I'm up at the headwaters of the lake. You have a great day and I'll catch you later. If you're looking for trout gear, fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks guys.